Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another Daniel Larson uh, wiki reading. And, well, oh boy, I reckon this is going to be uh, pretty fun. This is about uh, Daniel Larson's so-called political activism. Now, you may be asking yourselves, how exactly Daniel, what, how can Daniel Larson exactly be politically active? Like, that seems, even by his standards, so, r rather unbelievable. So... Well, there is a, a little bit more to it than previous ones, so, well, hold on to your hats, because this one needs explaining. Daniel Larson has a history of political activism that spans several years, during which he has expressed a range of opinions on various issues. Whether people ask for them or not, that's, up for, uh, that's completely up for debate. While some of these opinions are conflicting or not well thought out, that's an understatement, they nevertheless reflect Larson's engagement with political issues and his efforts to voice his views. So, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, or BL BLM, <clears throat> is a loosely organised political and social activism campaign that sought to combat racial inequality in the United States. The campaign has existed since 2013, but gained popularity after the killing of of George Floyd in 2020. It is notably the main organiser behind the George Floyd protests. <coughs> the movement is controversial with right-leaning and non-violent speakers due to it being the face of many destructive riots spurred by the murder of George Floyd and other victims of primary police brutality. Support of Black Lives Matter well, that okay. So that's background information mostly, and this is this is for, for this is for Daniel Larson for, for specifically. Daniel, almost directly after knowledge of the George Floyd incident hit the public, made a video of him doing jumping jacks, declaring, "This is for George Floyd. Rest in peace. Black Lives Matter." <laughs> so I know what you're probably thinking to yourselves at the moment is that, um, even for issues of great uh, political uh, importance. You may be asking yourself whether or not this is going to be the most suitable thing that Daniel Larson could do. However, it's it, it will become incredibly apparent that the result of this came. You you would have, well, let's let's just let's just get into it. I think you I think you all know what you came here for. This is for George Floyd. Rest in peace. Black Lives Matter. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, ain't now, in case you're literally wondering what exactly was all that about and what exactly that has to do with uh, Black Lives Matter, I don't quite know. I don't think anybody's ever be able to fully understand. Listen, there are mysteries in the universe that I will never be able to understand, for, for I don't have all the answers. I just, I, I only have questions. He would, he would make another video soon after during the Fog era, sending an anonymous message stating, Rest in peace, George Floyd. The police should be terminated. It should be noted that Daniel is, in most cases, anti-police due to his several negative interactions with them. He's also incredibly anti-FBI, saying that he wanted to make sure they were no more as well. That's the most I'm going to put it out there. As a result of that, it resulted in uh, TikTok having to step in and suspend Daniel Larson's account. And if TikTok had any sense whatsoever, they would be reporting this to the FBI or possibly to the police immediately. So, uh, fingers crossed that we're still waiting on a comeback from that. Hypocrisy. Daniel, despite declaring his approval for the leftist organisation, Men to Combat Racism, is a prominent racist himself who has made not only derogatory comments about multiple racial groups, but of George Floyd himself, naming one of his cr uh, cryptic codes after Floyd. It is unclear what led to a pivot in Daniel Opinion's uh, opinions on Floyd. Possibly, well, like I said before, it probably was because it wasn't really about Black Lives Matter or George Floyd at all. It was about Daniel Larson trying to entertain people on TikTok. 
He was, it was it's not even doing it for clout, because I don't exactly know what clout uh, Daniel Larson was chasing with this. Anti-cyberbullying campaign. Daniel is at a constant is a constant target of trolling and harassment for a multitude of reasons, such as the fact that he is the P-word. His insane and violent actions and his mental illness, which prevents him from responding rationally to trolling. He has stated multiple times that trolls and Reddit moderators need to be doxxed and that the R Daniel Larson subreddit needs to be shut down due to them bullying him. Although he has stated that the Daniel Larson wiki should stay up, he does like certain Daniel subreddits more, such as R Daniel Larson's fans and the Discord server Daniel Larson World. He has stated that he is in support of making trolling and cyberbullying illegal. Mind you, considering the fact that I also discussed this with uh, Chris Chan as well, um, the only reason it's see it, it's just so that they don't get harassed. It's mostly for their benefit, you know, not for the fact that they don't atone for any of the things that they do, and as a result of you know not uh, responding to things that they know they should have been addressing, these these sorts of things will continue. It's not going to stop anybody anytime soon. The people that are Daniel Larson's uh, uh, idea, uh, ideas are all screwed up because if Daniel Larson's going to say, you know, what trolling and cyberbullying to be illegal and stuff like that, then who on earth is going to be bailing him out of jail when Daniel Larson turns around and does something stupid? Presidential campaign. Here we go. Daniel announced on the July the 14th, 2020, during the 2020 presidential elections, that he would be running for President of the United States. He, never, he has never expressed what party he belongs to or what kind of policies he would instill as President. However, there are some known opinions he does have. His policies are securing our borders from attacks, attacks from what, it's not particularly clear, bringing the US population together, how, why, how, when, when, and what, to lower the age of consent, there's a shock, make trolling illegal. So, so according to Daniel Lawson, uh, he wants to uh, protect people from a war that isn't happening, making sure that uh, people of all descriptions come together, whilst also under the age of, under, well, also lowering the age of consent, and that nobody is going to be criticizing them for it. And Daniel Lawson is wondering why people troll him. His his general ideas and political beliefs actually are, he is in opposition of the Russian government, he is both racist and anti-racist in a virtue signaling kind of way, he is a skew leftist, although he has some conservative views, he is vaguely libertarian except in speech, he has stated he is against Donald Trump and aligns himself with Camilla Harris and Joe Biden, though this is highly debatable due to him voicing support for Trump repeatedly in 2023. He seems to change opinions on it frequently, mostly due to whatever Ween manipulated in his ill mind. Yeah, that's why. another reason why you don't, like, go to Daniel Larson for, like, uh, political uh, opinions, because Daniel Larson could say he's in support of Camilla one day, then Joe Biden the other day, and by the end of the week, he'll say he's in support of Kanye West. Sad but true. Various political statements. Brittany Griner deal. On February the 17th, 2022, Brittany Griner was detained at the Sheremetyovev International Airport in Russia after smuggling 0.5 grams of hash, of hash oil into the country, after alleging that it was an accident. After a short amount of trialling, Griner pled guilty and was given seven years of imprisonment and a fine of 1 million rubles, or 16,000 US dollars, even though the sentencing for less than two grams was supposed to be punished by 15 days imprisonment. Viktor Bout, named, nicknamed the Merchant of Death, is a notorious Russian arms dealer who supplied multiple militant and terrorist groups who controversially traded with Griner in a deal with the US government. Victor would later be released, and so was Griner. In early December of 2022, Daniel made a video about the deal, him knowing so little about it that he thought that Griner was traded for weapons rather than a weapons dealer. He was opposed to the deal, him commentating. 
I think the arms deal with Russia in exchange for Brittany Griner was a dangerous move. I want to know what arms we're talking about. What weapons we're talking about here. Because we are ready. The fact I don't even know. Ready for what exactly Daniel and... It, I say ready for what because Daniel doesn't even know that's that's not what the story was about. Way to go, Daniel. Like, again, Daniel should... And of course, considering the next part is the Ukrainian war, I'm going to uh, take a huge leap of faith, ladies and gentlemen, and say that no matter what Daniel says here, it's going to be bo bollocks. But let's uh, let's get let's try. Let's see what goes on. The war in Ukraine is an ongoing war occurring between Russia and Ukraine that started in early 2022 and had a long and complex history behind it that Daniel does not understand. Daniel has voiced support for Ukraine and has voiced opposition to Russia in various unusual, naive ways. He has stated that we need to destroy Russia, charge Russia with murder, if he's referring to the entire Russian population, which, given recent events such as the terrorist attack in Moscow, actually, it's become a bit more apparent that the only people that are actually opposed to the Russians are the one, well, opposed to... The Russians who are actually sitting in the Kremlin and also Putin as well. To be honest, I've never actually had any bad experiences with Russians. And I've actually got along very, very well with them. I get along very, very well with quite a lot of people anyway. And it's... I don't understand why... Again, it's, it's the sort of thing I don't think Daniel would pick on. Because, well, if he hasn't made mention of it to this point, uh, then... Or since at least when the war began i'm not going to say he's not going to make mention of it anytime soon but it stands to reason daniel has also stated interest in going to ukraine but these are definitely troll infused empty promises yeah i don't think um even if even if daniel made it as far as like the black is it is it the red or the black sea that's uh on like the uh, the peninsula I, I still don't even think Daniel would want to do that because I think he'll find out very, very quickly that Dan Daniel would immediately want to um, pull out immediately. Especially if when Daniel says going to um, Ukraine, I wonder if he just says for the lols he'll go all the way to Ma uh, Maripool. You know, something that's been under Russian occupation almost since uh, two for two years now. So... I have no reason to suggest why Daniel wanted to say that. I have no interest. I have I have no idea why Daniel wanted to say anything that happened in this article at all. Age consent laws. Oh, here we go. Daniel, being the P word, has stated that he is in favour of lowering age of consent laws in the United States. Why? I do not know. Well, I do know, but it's it's because that Daniel can get away with it. That's why. He has also stated that CP should be legal with permission of the parent. I don't understand why Daniel is not in prison right now for saying something like that, but whatever. I, I, I reckon the authorities will only ever act whenever things get become far too late, but there you are. It is possible that in a troll influenced him to say this, though there is no confirmation of this. Vague mentions. Well, you know what, actually, no, we're not even moving past that, because if a troll did influence to say this, well, guess what, Daniel? If if a troll told Daniel to jump off a cliff, would Daniel do that? No. So I don't want to ever hear again this excuse of saying that because a troll told him to do this, it meant that Daniel Larson would do it immediately. No, you've got to think about exactly what you're doing. And, you know, da did Daniel ever consider that? Like, ever? That, you know what? Just because somebody tells you to do something does not mean you should. Just because you can does not mean you should. Remember that phrase, ladies and gentlemen? Vague mentions. There are many small, possibly trolled-influenced uh, things Daniel says in his many, many videos on the internet. An example of this could be the Larson quote, Free R. Kelly. This statement refers to R. Kelly, a popular R&B singer who was arrested and charged with human trafficking, uh, racketeering, statutory rape and enticement this was probably influenced by trolls yeah i'm i'm not i'm not surprised 
why Daniel was, again, if this was something a troll did, then, well, exactly what I said above. Well, why would he say that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, was, like, far longer, and I'm like, way, I've got one hell of a headache after just reading this. Ugh. I have got, like, what, I have, I have headache. I have headache. Okay, so, I... I need, I, need to, I need to take an aspirin, actually. That, that's what I need to do. And then maybe have some water. But yeah, that was that was painful, guys. Daniel Lawson talking about things he doesn't know. Saying things he shouldn't be saying. And for him really sticking to things that he knows that he should not be sticking to. Stick a, stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'll see you guys next time.